Hello and welcome to the third upload of the first video of my channel. Today is September 6th, 2022. Um, if you know me and you're watching this, it's probably because I invited you to watch this um, to just update you on what's going on with me. So that I don't have to sit there and answer any questions. I might have to answer questions anyway. Who knows how well this video is going to go. If you don't know me and you're watching this. It's because you stumbled across it. And maybe this has something to do with what's going on in your life. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm just a chick in a video. Who knows? Anyways. I'm making this channel and the, the first of a series of videos because... There is something going on with me and maybe the like I said these videos will help somebody maybe they won't but anyways the reason I'm doing this is because three years ago I got appendicitis and I didn't know it was appendicitis I just thought that I was very very constipated and my stomach hurt so I tried to eat something to help push whatever was stuck out but it didn't work and the pain just got worse and worse and worse until I decided to go to the hospital <clears throat> once I got to the hospital the next day they gave me a CT scan and said yeah you have appendicitis and also your colon is is very very inflamed and after you heal from having your appendix out you should go get a colonoscopy so, fine, that's great. Four colonoscopies, almost three years, and four colonoscopies later. Um, uh, I finally found out what the cause of my appendicitis was, which was a polyp in my appendix. And also with all of the colonoscopies, I found out there was hundreds of polyps throughout my entire col colon. So, what is a polyp? you might ask um <clears throat> let's see i actually have it written down somewhere here we go a polyp is a benign growth um they're they're non-cancerous usually um and they live in the lining of your bowel they can occur in several other locations of your gastrointestinal tract but most commonly in your colon they can be smaller than a quarter of an inch to several inches in diameter some of them look like bumps inside the colon kind of like little mushrooms i guess and some of them can be flat um, they can be scattered in different parts of the colon some can contain cancer most do not the bigger they are, the more likely they are to become cancerous than the smaller ones. Um, there are two different kinds of polyps. There's hyperplastic polyp, which are not at risk for cancer. And then there's the polyps that my body has decided to create, which are called adenomas, which are thought to be the origin for almost all colon cancers. So hooray for me. So what that means for me is... Since I don't have fancy editing software, and this is my first video, I have a book. I know, it's like old school shit. Um, anyways, this is your colon, right? And down here, I think, this is the appendix. This little tiny dangly bit. So that's where the, the polyp was that was pissing off my appendix. But it didn't matter because I have polyps going all throughout here. And the reason I have all of these polyps is because I have something called FAP, which is stands for familial adenomatous polyposis. And there's another thing that's called AFAP, which is attenuated familial adenomatous polyposis. So the difference between those is people with AFAP make like um, maybe dozens of polyps 
and people like me make hundreds of call-ups, which is great. And so what is FAP? I will also I will also put links in the comments. Somehow I'll figure it out. I don't know. Uh, anyways, FAP is a rare hereditary condition where a person develops precancerous polyps called adenomas in the large intestine, which is also known as the colon. Uh, polyps can start in the teens or early 20s. The number of polyps can vary from over hundreds to thousands. They can grow and become more problematic as time passes. Eventually, one or more polyps will become cancerous, whereas if you have like a regular polyp, it's a 50-50. My polyps isn't 50-50. It's just a matter of time as to when will it happen not if it will happen um, and so what the reason I have this is because I have a mutation in my APC gene and the APC gene is the adenomatous polyposis coli I don't know it affects one in a thousand in ten thousand people and what happens is it interferes with the protein production and it allows cell cells to grow uncontrollably, uncontrollably and predisposes them to cancer. Most FAP people got the APC gene from a parent and those born with the mutation have it in every cell of their colon. So that's what I have. And it's like, You'd think, you know, if I were a mutant, they could give me some kind of other superpower than, I don't know, growing polyps uncontrollably. No, this is my superpower. Great. Hooray. Colon girl. Um, and other organs that can be susceptible to uh, the, the APC mutation... Um, can be bones, mouth, retinas, soft tissue, stomach, small intestine, things like that. But for me right now, it seems to only be in my colon. They've checked other places. Um, and everyone does have an APC gene. They actually have two. Uh, F8, people with FAP have it because there's a mutation in one of those genes. And there's a 50% chance that that mutation can be passed down to your kids. So if you have kids, you should get them, get some blood work done. Because there's no sense making your kids go through a colonoscopy if you don't have to. Get the blood work done first. Um, what happens when you have this FAP? Uh, for me, what's going to happen? Surgery is a standard treatment. If there's too many polyps or if they're growing too quickly to be controlled by colonoscopies, what will happen and what is going to happen to me is that they will remove the colon and or rectum during surgery and the small intestine will be re can be reconnected to the rectum, which is called, can, it's called a J pouch, but the actual term is called ileorectal anastomosis. Um, then there's also something called a subtotal colectomy with ileorectal anastomosis, which is kind of the same thing. Then there's when they remove your colon and your rectum, and there's an opening created. Usually, I don't know if you can see, right, right below your belly button on the right side. Um, and that opening is called an ileostomy. And so the actual term for that, which is what I will be getting, is called a total proctolectomy with a continent ileostomy. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, surgery is not a cure. Polyps can form elsewhere. Regular screening is necessary after surgery. But anyways, so this is what's going to be happening to me. Let's get the good old book out again. Ugh. Hold on, I'm coming here. So, what's happening to me? I think this is all backwards, but we'll figure this out together. So, once again, here's the colon. There's hair. Um, I think this thing is the ilium. This thing is the ilium. Right here is the part that connects your colon to your 
intestines. And so what they're going to do with me is they're going to take all of this out. All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. And they're going to take this part here, my ilium. And they're going to make a hole in my stomach. And they're going to pull about this much of it, my ilium, out through the hole. And they're going to cover it with a bag. And then every time I have to poop, it's going to come out of my ilium and go into the bag. And that is what's happening with me. And I'm going to be doing a lot of videos very quickly because uh, today is September 6th, 2022. I have my surgery on September 13th of this year. And so this is the first video. The next video I'll post will probably be, you know, things that I've done leading up to this. Um, maybe different kinds of ostomies, if anybody wants to know. Uh, what else? Questions I've asked to my doctor. Things that I found helpful, useful, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, so this is what's happening for now. Hope you like the old school book. Because, like I said, I don't have any editing software on my phone. So this is just how it's going to be for a while. Anyways, hope you enjoyed my first, my third installment, or not third installment, my third version of my first video. Let me know how I did. And there'll probably be another one very shortly. Hope you have a good day.